I couldn't base my decision on my sympathy for the family. A juror breaking her silence in charge of bringing justice to the family of a little boy hit by a driver on the way home from Disneyland. Instead, the jury unable to agree on convicting the accused. 10 News reporter Anthony Pura spoke with the juror about what went on behind closed doors. Anthony. Kimberly, the jury went into deliberation on Wednesday, so they spent several days trying to figure this out. They found the defendant guilty on three misdemeanor charges, but when it came down to felony charges, they, four of them rather, just needed to hear more evidence. The details of this horrific crash that sent six-year-old Lennox Lake to the hospital have been retold and dissected in court. Heard the screeching tires. Lennox's mother, Ingrid, took the stand during the trial, wanting justice for her son. But the jury couldn't give her what she and her husband wanted. That was really hard for some reason. It just felt like we were so close. Police had said all along that this man was responsible. Constantino Banda, a man federal officials say had been deported at least 15 times back to Mexico. They say he was drunk that night ran a stop sign and T-boned the Lake family's car as they were driving home from Disneyland. You are still hopelessly deadlocked, is that correct? Yes, you are. But after spending several days deliberating, four of the 12 jurors were not fully convinced Banda was guilty of drunk driving or fleeing the scene of the crash. We couldn't agree it was a hung jury. This juror didn't say how she voted, but said she and others disagreed on what she described as basic things. I didn't lower my convictions. I voted the way I felt was right, and I wasn't going to waver, and either did any of the other 11 on the jury. The result triggering an emotional response from Banda in court. Banda's estranged wife told 10 News in June that Banda was not driving that night. Banda's attorney made that case in court, saying it was Banda's drinking buddy, Jorge Adame, behind the wheel. It's hard for me because I believe in a really strong sense of justice, and. It's hard to just walk away feeling like there's nothing at the end of the day and we have to start over. There's a status hearing scheduled for September 18th. Prosecutors could decide if there's going to be a retrial at that time. Reporting live tonight, Anthony Perra, 10 News.